Visión Comunal, en contacto con las comunidades. Venezuela in the news. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Headlines. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Delcy Rodriguez, met in Rome with her Italian counterpart, Paolo Gentinoli. Parliament disregards the Supreme Court ruling and swears new deputies. Venezuela oil companies plan strategic alliances with Russia. The Italian government expressed to the Venezuelan Foreign Minister, Delcy Rodriguez, their support to the international mediation initiated by the Union of South American Nations to ease internal tensions in Venezuela. This was reported by news agency EFE. Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs Paolo Gentinoli affirmed Rome's support to the mediation efforts made by former presidents Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero from Spain, Martin Torrijos from Panama, and Leonel Fernandez from Dominican Republic. Gentinoli and Rodriguez also discussed about the Italian community resident in Venezuela. Recently, the European Union decided to support the UNOSOR's work in Venezuela. Caracas confirmed that a representative of the Vatican will join the efforts for peace in the country. The Venezuelan government has convened the opposition for dialogue in five occasions, but the response has always been a rejection. Yesterday, the Venezuelan parliament incorporated three new deputies who are being investigated for vote buying and other electoral crimes. The National Assembly has once again violated the Supreme Court of Justice's decision to suspend the deputies pending an inquiry into electoral fraud. Julio Garza, Nirma Guarulla, and Romel Guzmana were sworn by the opposition majority in the parliament. This decision will lead to a new pronouncement from the Supreme Court. In a period of 30 working days, the National Electoral Council must decide whether the opposition's party coalition, MUD, may request a recall referendum against President Nicolás Maduro. The MUD presented a petition with over 600,000 proved fraudulent signatures during the process to request the referendum. The government denounced the case before the authorities of the National Electoral Board, considering it as the worst fraud in the electoral history of the country. Venezuela in the news. The meeting of the Common Market Council of the Mercosur, scheduled for Saturday in Montevideo, was cancelled, despite some of the member states still remain resistant to transfer Mercosur's presidency to Venezuela. Caracas denounced that Paraguay and Brazil intend to violate the statutes of the Mercosur. Both representations communicated that they would not be present in this meeting that was confirmed several weeks ago. Uruguay confirmed intentions to end the chairmanship on July 30th. Yesterday, PDVSA's board of directors held a meeting with the high-level commission of the Russian oil company Rosneft. President of PDVSA, Eulogio del Pino, spoke with head of the Russian oil company, Igor Sichin, about the need to normalize the situation in the global oil market. Russia's largest producer of oil, Rosneft, and the Venezuelan state company are strategic partners in several energy projects. In February, they signed an agreement to develop areas of natural gas in Venezuela. Additionally, Rosneft announced the investment of $500 million to raise up to 40% its participation in the joint gas business, Petro Monagas, with PDVSA in the Orinoco oil belt. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Headline. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Delcy Rodriguez, met in Rome with her Italian counterpart, Paolo Gentinoli. Parliament disregards the Supreme Court ruling and swears new deputies. Venezuela oil companies plan strategic alliances with Russia. Venezuela in the news. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Visión Comunal. En contacto con las comunidades.